good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. So the past couple weeks I've been like frantically test knitting sweaters, knitted items. And I like took a break from the, the vlogs because I wanted to finish all these test knits because like all the deadlines approached at the same time and I am a procrastinator. And so I was like, I was like speed knitting these sweaters so they could be done on time. And I still have to like finish filming the end of that video um, and then I'll upload it hopefully after this one. But I'm just gonna do like a little vlog today. I've been doing some painting exercises. I mean, I don't know. I guess technically it's like an exercise. Like that's how I, that's why I did it because I saw someone else did it and they were like, just do it to like feel, feel things and not like think about your painting so much. And I definitely sh struggle from like trying to do good art all the time <laughs> or at least art that looks good to me so this is what i did yesterday i did this with acrylic paint and pen and i just like drew i think i did the orange first and then i did the blue and then i did yellow and then i just outlined everything in with a couple different colors and then i did this one last night kind of similar idea and I think I'll do some more because it was pretty fun. And then I've also been reading a lot, which is, you know, taking up way too much time. But I finished a couple books recently. I finished uh, All the Light We Cannot See, which was super beautiful and poetic and sad. <laughs> but I really liked it and it was different than a lot of the books I usually read. It was a good change of pace. I also read Corrupt, <laughs> that smut book, probably in my last video which was okay. Those books are just like, they're just, they're not very good. <laughs> but I find myself like reading them really fast just to get to the smutty parts, which like, I don't know. It's kind of a funny idea to me because I like, I read the book and I'm like, oh, oh, I gotta see what happens next. I wanna keep reading it. This book's like 500 pages and like nothing happens and I don't really care about the characters that much. And like some of the endings are like ridiculous. Like shit that would never happen. <laughs> So maybe I need like some more realistic smut. Anyway, I also, oh, I finished reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which was good. That book, like, it was good and it was interesting, but it didn't like, it wasn't a book that I just like wanted to keep reading. I kind of like picked it up and like read some, a few books in between reading that book. But the ending was really good, I guess. <laughs> It was good. It like it made me feel sad, but I also like don't know if I cared about that book enough to really like like it a lot. But I, I did like it a little bit. Oh, and then right now I'm reading Her Body and Other Parties and I love it so much. I got it like a day ago. I'm about halfway through. So that book is a book of stories and the one I'm in the middle of right now, I think it's called Heinous. And it's like, she talks about all the seasons of SVU and each episode, but it's just like a paragraph or even a sentence describing each episode. And at first I was reading it and I was like, what the fuck is this? But I really like it. It's kind of funny. Let me read a, let me read one of those. Okay, this is the book. I've been like adding little tabs to keep track of the things that I like in this book. And in the SVU chapter, one of the things that like made me laugh out loud. Okay, I'll, I'll read a couple of them. I thought they were so funny. So this is in season three of SVU. And one of the episodes, I'm not sure if these are the episode names or if this is just what she's calling each episode. Or maybe I'm not understanding this at all. But okay, this one's called Redemption. And it says, Benson accidentally catches a when she Google stocks her newest OkCupid okay date, she can't decide whether or not to market this in the success, caught fist, or failure, date didn't work out column. She marks it both. I thought that that was really funny. It's like funny, but it's also sad, and it's also dark, and it's also weird. I really like this book. And I can't wait to read her other book, uh, In the Dream House. I heard, I've only heard good things about that book. Okay, the next one is from season four, and it says Chameleon. Abler and Henson respond to a report of a in Central Park. They examine the mutilated body. Cult, says Abler. Occultist, says Henson. A cult of occultists, they say in unison. Take the body away. <laughs> Just like, like, are these from actual episodes? Like, I haven't seen enough SVU to, like, know. Like, are these. 
I don't know. I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I really fuck with this. I really like this book a lot. Okay, well, I'm gonna paint now. No, no, actually, I didn't stop painting. I just plugged my, I put the battery on the charger and I kept on painting. And then I, so the past couple days, I've been thinking about getting a tattoo and I wanted, I have like this space in between my other tattoos and I had wanted to get um, something like kind of fluid, if that makes sense, that would fit in between the tattoos. And I decided a few days ago that I thought it would be really cool to get a centipede tattoo. I was thinking about it a lot today and there's a tattoo shop like right down the street from my apartment. I got the cicada tattoo on my arm done there and I figured I'll just go there. Like it's a pretty um, cool tattoo shop and like I think the guys there know what they're doing. So, so I called my friend and I was like, hey, you want to come to the tattoo shop with me and like we can go for a walk after, get dinner or something. She was like, yeah. Damn, this is like such a long story. Um, so then I started talking to the tattoo artist about the tattoo and I like showed him some pictures and he just started drawing it and he was like, you want to do it right now? And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so I got a tattoo and I did want it to like go up onto my palm a little bit. So I am in like so much pain, like getting your palm and your wrist tattooed, like that shit hurt so bad I was like wincing the whole time and I shed like a single tear okay so I'm gonna take this off now it's only been a few hours but he said I could take it off after like three to four hours and just wash it and moisturize it and then go to bed he also said not to do any dishes this week because apparently dish soap fucks up with fucks up hand tattoos <laughs> my cat is staring at me right now he's like what the fuck are you doing talking to the wall okay so let's take this off it's just an outline because that's kind of what this is and I didn't want to go too crazy and like I can always go and get shading later So here we are <laughs> Kind of had a feeling that it was gonna hurt the tattoo artist like he didn't say anything until we started and He was like, oh by the way, the palm might hurt a lot and I would like underestimated what he meant <laughs> There 
it is. It goes up onto my palm. Pretty sick. I didn't tell either of my parents that I was getting this. So, if you're watching this, ouch. <laughs> Uh. Hello, it's the morning now. After showing my new tattoo last night, I like lightly had an anxiety attack that I did it too impulsively and I didn't like it or something like that. <laughs> like, uh, and I thought that I did like it when I was getting it and like it was a really fun experience, but now I'm like tripping a little bit. I feel a little better this morning. I did take some anti-anxiety medication last night, so maybe that's why I feel okay this morning. I was I was tripping last night, like calling my friends to talk to someone on the phone about my decisions and like if the tattoo matched me, which it should because I picked it or I went in there and said what, exactly what I wanted and he gave me exactly what I wanted. Maybe I worry that it's like a little too cool for me because it goes up onto my palm. It looks really sick right now holding it up. Oh my god, I'm tripping so hard on this tattoo. Oh, let me show you what I finished, what I drew last night, or yesterday when I was filming and my camera died. This is what it ended up being. I like put little dots around the shapes. These are really fun to do. They're like, I just like don't really have to think while I'm doing them and it feels good. <laughs> it's way less technical than like looking at a picture and trying to draw something, which is what I usually do. And then I started, and then I drew a centipede before I went to get a tattoo. And then I started this and I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I, like maybe I'll keep adding green. Okay, let's do some stuff. I made red. It's done. It came out much better than the last time. I didn't burn it. It's not as pretty. It's just kind of like a blob. <laughs> but I think it'll taste good. Like the bottom. Okay, it's a, like a little bit burnt. This is only the second loaf I've made. But I think it came out pretty good. I'm going to give it to one of my friends. Now I'm going to go get my mail. My thread up order came. I'm going to do some errands and then I'm going to end this video because this is probably like my most random video yet. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I just got back from running errands this morning. I stopped by my mom's house and she gave me some tomatoes, beautiful fresh tomatoes from her garden. They smell hella good. She also gave me basil, like a bouquet of basil, which smells hella good too. I'm gonna make some pasta later. This is the basil. So yummy. While I was out, I also got yarn. I'm gonna make a striped sweater, so I got the, oh wait, where's the other one? I wanna make a striped sweater, so I got these yarns. And then I have some other ones that I'm gonna use to make the striped sweater. I'll probably make that in a video. Oof. It's called Poof Yarn, and I got it from Avenue Yarns in Berkeley. It's like, it was made like especially for them. So maybe you can only get it there. Pretty! And then I got um, some things from ThreadUp that I ordered a few weeks ago. I got this dress. It's like a realization par dress. 
a little silk wrap dress. I think it's I think it's really cute. It's just like a little bit like low. So I think if I wore it out, I would need to like put some boob tape. You know, just so I felt a little more secure. But it's pretty cute and I think these dresses are normally maybe like 250 and I got it from ThreadUp for 90. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully it wasn't too random. Let me know in the comments if you think I should regret getting this tattoo. And next time I post it, I'll definitely be more craft based. I am gonna post it about my test knits soon. I have a video where I do four test knits. I just have to finish one more and then I can post that video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.